Hello my friends, I just covered my mountain telescope with my custom made telescope cover. Uh, this cover is a very good solution if you are on a budget and you need a telescope cover to protect your equipment outside. Uh, this video will be very useful to you. Bought a cheap tarp against rain that has also UV protection, a silver one uh, outside and with green inside. So this costed me around $20 and I went to a store and they did stitch it like this. Is like a big telescope cover that cost close to $200. However, this costed me about $30, also with the stitching. <laughs> so much cheaper. I've tested a couple of mounts, it's very thick. I think it's about 20 mil, like 20 thousandths of an inch. I measured, it was one millimeter, but with this part stitch. So I think it's like 0 0.5 millimeters thickness. Now I will show you how it looked when I bought it and what I had to do to be able to make this cover. It was three by four meters and I did have to cut it first. I cut it in half and then reduce it a little bit more. I had to test it to see what dimensions are best for my equipment. Uh, it has some holes here, so you can uh, tighten it with a rope. Okay, but for the moment I'll just place it here on top of the mount and let's see how it looks. And you can make one buy a cheap one of 20 25 us dollars and transform it pay a little bit extra and make it in a telescope cover or make it yourself so what i only change this here you see uh, this is the only modification and i cut it because it was bigger and i made it around 143 by 163 centimeters Okay, so you see, it fits very good. It can, it will protect against rain also in this area. Here I placed a box. So it's very good for my setup. This is the model. It's about $20. Here we have also the specifications. It's uh, thick, heavy duty, three by four meters, silver on outside, green inside, water resistant and UV resistant. Now let's see some similar covers here on Amazon. But this one six by eight feet this is about 22 dollars and you can choose also different sizes but this one should be enough to make one cover from it at 22 dollars so you have different thickness mine i think is around 20 here are uh, this is also 20 white and this is 16. so 16 and 20 should be good enough and very resistant now i want to show you here some prices on uh, telescope covers these ones from telegizmo are very popular and this is 168 dollars this is 190 dollars there's other models here even more expensive probably it will protect better against heat here we have desiccant bags you can search and find also desiccant if you have a lot of humidity and moisture to place inside the cover Okay, so now it started to rain and I'll use this cover to protect here my telescope and mount. And I'll leave the equipment here. It's protected against rain. Even an expensive cover like the Teles Gizmo 365 won't protect 100% your equipment. You can also have moisture problems and dew. Uh, because you see here on the lower part the humidity can uh, build up and you can have other problems so also depending on where you image you can use a desiccant to help prevent dew and moisture building up inside the cover okay so now as i showed you it started to rain i'll just leave the equipment here until the rain will stop 
I need to test it also in autumn when I do have more moisture and dew. Uh, for the moment, when I test it, removing the cover in the morning, I didn't notice any dew forming on the equipment. Let's say I want to image tonight. I can place also the telescope, uh, the camera and also a guide scope. And to be ready to do a photography right after I will remove this cover. Yeah. And this will help you save me a lot of time by setting the equipment up, especially for the mount. So my reflector, I usually take it back inside because during the, the night it can accumulate some moisture and uh, it's best to take it inside. I usually leave the cap out here and also the cap from the dew shield to let the moisture uh, evaporate. I also use more telescopes, so usually I leave my mount outside and place the cover because just getting the telescope with the camera, it takes a couple of minutes, so I, I won't lose a lot of time. However, you can use a cover like this to protect your equipment and to save a lot of time for astrophotography, especially with the mount, because you won't need to go and make polar alignment every time to set up the mount. So this is the main advantage of this cover because it will save you time for astrophotography and you'll be able to image more. After taking off the cover, I noticed when I've tested with a telescope and left it a couple of hours in direct sunlight, it was warm, but not hot. Uh, with a low budget, a couple of bucks, like 20, 30 dollars, you can buy a tarp against rain and transform it into a telescope cover. So comparing with the more expensive covers, like the Telegizmo 365, possible that that cover, it will prevent uh, heat by getting inside a little better. However, in a lot of sunlight, heat will still get inside. To be able to fully protect against heat, you still need uh, an umbrella. Even without an umbrella, it's still okay. As I said before, it's not, it's not hot, just warm. But if you have a larger telescope, then it's best to be even less warm. Now I want to show you also some videos how I'll use this cover to protect the telescope and mount against rain, snow and sunlight. Until next time, stay safe, clear sky, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I'll see you in more astrophotography videos.